These are three of my oldest Pachypytum compactum. Pachypytum compactum is one succulent that is so easy to grow. This would have to be one of my favorite succulents, mainly because they color up as they mature, especially if they're grown out in full sun, frost, rain, hail, or shine. They have beautiful compact form and so hard, it just feels like little stones. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Propagation is quite easy and these are my younger Pachypytum compactum that I have propagated from a leaf and now being grown and this one is even flowering. The growing season for Pachypytum compactum is between autumn winter and spring when the weather gets hot they tend to go dormant so right now it's spring and is the best time to propagate them you can easily take some leaves like this from the bottom part of the plant especially this one there's a new pup growing on the bottom there that's going to cover or stop the baby from growing so it's best removing the leaves that are grown in there. Okay, so even the bottom leaves, we'll remove all of that. So I've taken 15 leaves from one plant, which can grow, or hopefully will grow, but there's a 80, 90% chance of success rate. So this one, is in the way so we might as well take that off now this plant can still grow in its merry way and I'll put this aside and I'll show you how to propagate those leaves these Pachypytum compactum leaves that are growing that are forming roots and also babies like little bumps or little pimples as I prefer to call it has been placed here in autumn. So I've harvested them in autumn and now they have grown some leaves, but they grow fastest in spring. So these ones now, I will be taking them off and to make them grow even faster. So just about every single one you can see has got a pup. That one definitely have. And more, more, and more. And this one, I have taken much earlier in summer, but it took all to autumn to dry up and grow. But then now, this is now basically about six, seven, about eight months old. But then now, I'm going to harvest them and make them grow faster again. So I'm just going to pull them out and bring them inside. I can leave them here to grow, but since I have a grow light, I can grow them twice, even three times as fast to get them ready to be planted in late summer or autumn into my garden. They're very frost hardy, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, I have another one here. Now let's take this inside and repot this. So basically where I'm going to be planting it is in a tray like this. So this is just a recycled meat tray that I punctured a hole through one. So this is something Alfredo pasta uh, chicken. <laughs> and so I've got a few holes in it. So, okay. And then the bottom one is just saucer basically so that when I water it and the water doesn't go through and wet everything else so now this one now this is my master succulent soil mix and the reason why I really want to repot this and grow this quick so that in time for summer I can put them in the garden so hopefully well it won't be summer maybe autumn would be the time we're in they will grow so I can just pack them all in here and they will grow so much faster under 
the grow light and therefore this is the reason why I'm harvesting them and if you live in an area where in you get a lot of warm weather so from 20 degrees up upwards uh, Celsius then you can leave them out uh, outside or to grow outside but in my case it's already October here and we're still getting 13 degrees we're still below 20 degrees which is gonna make it slower for them to grow so that's why now drastic me measures has to be taken so that I can grow them quick uh, look at that isn't that gorgeous just beautiful plants anyway oh there's a uh, uh, what do you call this? <laughs> uh, runaway or a stowaway plant. I think that's um, prolifica. Now, this is now I'm almost done with the ones that are sort of grown and the rest, these ones, I'm just... It's got roots, so I'll put the ones that has roots together so I can water it. Although, if you do water them and get the other ones wet it's not so critical so this one is actually reversed so it's been growing on its face like that and the roots sticks out or try to reach down and the plant got suffocated growing underneath so now we're gonna reverse it and give it a helping hand and that one also has a root which means you can go in here and that one too so there's a really if I say there's a 95% chance of them growing and striking and growing new pups and rooting well there is so this one out of this lot now that I have I only have like one that probably is not going to uh, have a baby or maybe two so it just depends on this one as well but anyway it's got roots so I'll put it here and also this one. Oh, there's more. Okay, so now the rest of the leaves that I have taken, I'm just going to lay them all here. Just sitting on top. So the nodes, which is the tip of the plant, should never ever plant it this way or else it will absorb moisture and it will rot then you'll have a 10% chance of growth rate instead of <laughs> 95% now if they grow and crowd themselves then I will transplant them and remove them and put them in a separate pot or Put the bigger ones in individual pots because by then they would have all grown and can have their own little pot so now I'm just gonna water this with my seaweed solution just so to prevent it from getting PTSD <laughs> otherwise known as transplant shock only half of it where the babies with roots are the prospective babies with no babies yet shouldn't be watered the soil is still moist so I won't give it too much drink only enough to there you go that one is a bit on the side just sort of set them into the soil or anchor them into the soil that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i hope this video or you find this video helpful and if you do please hit the like button and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so you can get notified when i do have some new uploads and i'll put it here so she can join the rest of the gang under the grow light where i'm growing my other babies really really fast as well so that's it for now guys and i'll see you on the next video so babies grow baby grow